Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and for today's video I am going to show you guys how to assemble the stocking gift card holder Honeycut dies. So it is a two, three, four, five piece wafer die set that will create a stocking shaped gift card holder. So I die cut the actual stocking base itself from two pieces of red cardstock. I also die cut some pattern paper. The slider mechanism I die cut from red cardstock. And then what will be the kind of the toes and the heel portion and the top portion of the stocking. I die cut from some tonic snowdrop meadow cotton card, which is really soft and flexible. It's literally cotton. So it's not your typical cardstock. Really, really pretty. So with this, um, just like my previous video, you don't need to do everything with cardstock and then adhere the pattern paper. I'm just choosing to do like the base in cardstock because I like the dimension it goes. So with this, I die cut the two pieces with that same like stocking base die. And then I'm just reinforcing there's little flaps just along the top sort of sides of this. There's little flaps that the die cuts as well as um, scores. And I'm just reinforcing those score lines with my little tonic card creaser and then folding these over. So um, one of them is right side up and then the other one you just flip around and then adhere them together. And that's gonna create the stocking. So after I have both of those um, flaps folded on both pieces, I'm gonna flip one around and I'm going to apply the adhesive. So I'm using some 1 8 inch score tape. You can use liquid glue. It just gets a little more, it can get a little more messy. I know not a lot of people like using liquid adhesive or especially using it with things like this. So a dry adhesive like score tape works great. This is 1 8 of an inch. So it's just, it fits perfectly. This is I think the narrowest width you can possibly get. So I just apply it to those two little flaps. And then I'm putting this like sliding mechanism in here so I can see where to put the rest of the adhesive because you don't want to put any adhesive where the sliding mechanism is going to go. So you're basically just putting it around the outer edges of the bottom portion of the stocking. And again, you could use a bit of liquid adhesive here, it'd be fine. But since I had the score tape out already, um, it was just easier to apply. So you can see I just do right along the very bottom and then kind of on the side there and on the very little back portion of the heel, making sure it's all clear of where that slider piece is going to go up and down. You don't want any adhesive there. So after I've got my adhesive in place, I am going to peel off the backing somewhat using my reverse tweezers because um, I mentioned in my previous video, I, my stubby little fingernails just don't agree very well with the backing of score tape. But you want to peel off all of the backing pieces to this score tape to expose all of this adhesive. And then once I've got all of this um, peeled off, I can then adhere what will be the front or like the top portion of this stocking. So again, I struggle with this stuff. I just, this is why I don't use it very often. <laughs> I have so much trouble getting the backing off. So got all the backing off and I found the easiest way to assemble this is to kind of start at the toes and then work from there. So get the bottom kind of adhered and then I just kind of fold in, make sure both both sides, both flaps folded inwards and then just press them together. And then I've got basically the base of my stocking and all that's left now is to basically decorate it. The slider mechanism slides in and out, no problem. So I had die cut pattern paper for mine. And to adhere this, I'm first just gonna cut off the little flaps because I don't need them. You can, like I said, just assemble the entire thing out of pattern paper if you want. You would just need to flip over the pattern paper before die cutting the second piece. Otherwise, one side will be one color, the other side will be either white or another color, depending on the pattern paper you use. But I like using cardstock for the base of things. It's just heavier and gives it that extra like durability and weight. So I just die cut one from the pattern paper. And this is from the Honey Bee Holiday Traditions six by six pack. After trimming off those little flaps with my scissors, then I just adhere this to the stocking base with some craft tacky adhesive. And then I've got the little toe and heel portion that I die cut with that um, tonic snowdrop meadow cotton card. And then same thing, gonna adhere these into place. This Those dies also do actually add a little bit of stitching detail right around the very edge. It kind of gets lost with this type of paper. 
but it's there. So adhere these ones into place and then the topper portion is die cut with two little kind of notches in the middle and a score line because it's meant to fold over the sliding mechanism. So just like so. So then it'll kind of decorate the top of the stocking and also sort of conceal the slider mechanism. So I'm going to adhere that into place as well with the Craft Tacky adhesive. Just fold that over, press that into place, and the slider mechanism is sized to hold a gift card. Like just sized to hold a gift card. So I will show in a minute or like at the end of the video how I'm going to adhere the gift card into place. So works just like so you can leave it just like this or you can personalize it add more die cuts add you know use like larger letter wafer dies because then you could really personalize it you know with the initials of the person you're giving it to make it look like an actual little christmas stocking all that fun stuff so for mine today i actually made my own little tags using the um little door from the gingerbread house add-ons you could die cut just a piece of um just a little rectangle if you wanted or just trim down a rectangle with your paper trimmer whatever works, but I made little tags with that. And then I'm using sentiments from the one of a kind stamp set. So I've lined these up. I've super sped this up because I showed this in the previous video using the gift card present box honey cut dies. So exact same, literally exact same process. <laughs> so if you want more info, you can check that out, out that video, but stamp the sentiments, heat emboss the other sentiments from the one of a kind stamp set onto some green cardstock. The green ones I'm going to die cut with coordinating wafer dies. And then the ones I had stamped onto the white cardstock, I um, punched holes in with my crocodile, which I've had for years and don't use very often. But any little hole punch is going to work. You could just do one at a time instead of all four. So I punched a hole in those little white um, tags. And then to adhere these to my stockings, I'm actually just going to use some black hemp from my stash some black hemp cord and I'm going to wrap this around my stocking and then I'm going to um, start a knot and then hold that in place with my reverse tweezers. This is a trick I showed years ago like showing how to tie ribbon and whatnot into bows. Um, reverse tweezers come in so handy. It's like having a little extra pair of hands. So that's going to hold that in place. So I can string that through um, the tag and then tie this into a little bow. So once that's tied, I'm going to adhere the sentiment that I had heat embossed and die cut from the one of a kind stamp set and coordinating dies. And I'm going to adhere that with some um, little 3D foam squares. So I'm just going to pop that into place and then I can trim off the extra little hemp cord. So get that adhered into place, making sure I'm not covering up any of the little directions on that little tag. And then I can trim off the excess. And then the stocking's done. All I've got to do now is add my little gift card. So I find with something like this, the easiest way to adhere the gift card is to use something like a little micro. These are little micro uh, glue dots. They're just tiny, but you know, or even just one little tiny glue dot or just the teeniest amount of glue so that it comes off easily. So I just applied a couple of little micro glue dots, adhere my little gift card, and then it just slips into the stocking and it's good to go. So I'm gonna do this with the second one. I'd made another stocking using um, more pattern paper from the Holiday Traditions six by six pack. Same sentiments, same cardstock, everything else, just different pattern paper, just to kind of mix it up a bit. And then like I'd said earlier, I'd also done a video using the gift card present box. So that'll be the previous video I'd uploaded for you guys. So you can check that out if you are interested in that as well. And then as always, I will have a link below the video to the blog post. I'll have a supply list with links to all the supplies I use. So you can check that out below if you are interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting. I really appreciate it. I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.